if you think that when the market slows down that there's going to be a shortage of business and there's only going to be so many deals to go around, you need to stop what you're doing and watch this video. What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So if you've been watching me a while, you know that my entire goal with this is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. And I'm gonna do so by the exact principles that I'm gonna talk about in this video. If you're one of these agents who is worried about the real estate market crashing or slowing down and, and you being forced out of the business, the first thing that you need to do is hit that like button because I'm about to go in depth of exactly why that is not true. Now, I've seen a couple of videos of some guys that say that there's a shortage of business, there's only so many deals to go around, and so many agents are gonna have to get out of the business. Gosh, it's, it's if you're an agent out there, you know, be careful. It's uh, it's it's about it might possibly get um, rough uh, out there for you. Part time realtors and one hit wonders will drop out of the business in the next market shift. There's just not enough business to go around. It's people saying stuff like this that actually motivated me to start a YouTube channel, to start coaching real estate agents for free so that I could share exactly how I lost everything in the last market crash, but what I learned through the crash took me through to the other side to becoming the number one REMAX agent in the state of Alabama. Since 2014, I've been selling over 100 properties a year. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, going on 19. And as a 17 year real estate agent, going through one of the biggest crashes we've ever seen, I know just a little bit about what it takes to make it through the crash, how the entire process works, and how you can continue selling properties through an unlimited source of business. The biggest thing that I learned through the market crash is that business is a completely unlimited resource in real estate regardless of the market conditions. If you look at the crash of 2008 and in all the years leading up to it and the years after it, there were closings that happened every single day. There wasn't a day that went by that there weren't some number of closings. Now, some of the agents out there will argue with me that yes, Ricky, there are closings that are happening every day, but there's not enough closings to go around. And I would agree with that to a certain extent, but that's for the people who don't have the right mindset. The people that have to get out of the business, the agents that have to get out of the business and go back to their nine to five or whatever it was they did before real estate because the market slowed down, because the market crashed, it's because they didn't develop the skills of communicating with people and understanding the philosophies behind unlimited business. Unlimited business, in a nutshell, just means that there's more business than you could ever handle. Okay, I think about it like a buffet. Okay, when you go to a buffet, can you eat every single piece of food on the buffet? No. Are there people coming in the door and piling into the restaurant and there's still plenty of food for everybody? Yes. Why? Because they keep putting more food out all the time. When people eat it, they replace it with more and you can't eat it all. Okay, if one person could eat all the food and then just keep eating the food and just eat forever and it's just unlimited, you know, uh, power to just eat all the food, then yes, there would be one person that sold all the real estate. None of us would have jobs. There would be no real estate agents. There would be one entity that did all the deals, but that's not the case. Why? Because there's processes, there's, there's systems. You have to talk to the people, create the relationships, meet with them, have lunch, listing appointments, show them property, you know, go through the closing, list the properties, take pictures, put on MLS, put signs up, lock boxes, inspections, appraisals, lenders, title companies. Okay, there's so much that's involved in each deal that it bogs you down to where you can only do so many deals. And that's what creates the unlimitedness of the business because you can't do all the deals. So there's always enough business out there to completely keep, keep your pipeline full at all times. And this is even true when the market crashes. Okay, when the market does crash, what happens is a very special thing for us real estate agents. See, we make money when it's going up or when it's going down, we make commissions, which means it doesn't matter what the prices are, it doesn't matter if it goes up or down, every time a property sells, we make a commission. When the market's going up, everybody's making money, everybody's happy, everybody's buying and selling properties, and everything's going really good. When the market levels off, that's when people start to get worried and start holding off from buying and 
and start rethinking what they're doing. And then when it starts going down or crashes, that's when everybody kind of holds up. But the special thing that happens is this. The buyers that weren't buying on the way up, the buyers that weren't buying when it started to flatten out, they start buying when it's going down. The buyers that want to buy when the market goes down, they want to buy and they want to buy right now while prices are down before prices go back up. Okay, they are investors for the most part. And where do we find these investors? They're property owners. They already own properties. So what do we do? We call property owners and say, hey, is there anything in the world I can do for you? If you want a copy of my scripts, just go to zerodiamond.com, create a free account, and download them. These buyers have a sense of urgency. They're probably going to buy more than one property, okay, because their whole game plan is to buy when it's down and hold it until the market rebounds and then sell. So what's that gonna do for you? You're gonna sell them multiple properties and then when the market rebounds, you're gonna list and sell those same properties for them. At the same time, the sellers that sell when the market crashes, they have to sell. Most of the sellers that sell when the market has crashed have to sell because they're in trouble because the market crashed on them. And again, this creates urgency in the market. The buyers that wanna buy, wanna buy right now before prices go up, and the sellers that wanna sell, gotta sell right now because they're in trouble. And for the most part, most agents don't understand this. All they see is a shortage of business, okay? And they're thinking shortage of business. They don't understand the unlimitedness of it, so they get out of the business because they're scared. So we're gonna lose a lot of agents, but the agents that understand this philosophy are not gonna have to go anywhere. They're actually gonna enjoy this slower market because it does a lot of things, okay? A lot of interesting things that it does is this. It creates the urgency. The buyers wanna buy, the sellers gotta sell. It also opens up time. Okay, when the market is really busy, you, you don't have time, as much time as you want to make your calls, to do your prospecting, to follow up, to, to reconnect with past clients over the phone and have conversations. You don't have as much time, you don't get to everybody that you wanna to get to. But when the market slows down and starts to go down, you have a lot of time, you have enough time to do those consistent phone call sessions and to reconnect with a lot of your past clients. And it's a great opportunity to reconnect with a lot of people and to make a lot of phone calls to inform them of what's going on, keep them up to date, and see if there's anything in the world you can do to help them. Because they are gonna be buying and selling properties. If not then, sometime in the future. Okay, this business, I've said it so many times, is about relationships over transactions. So my overall goal, like I said in the beginning of the video, is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry, and this is how I'm gonna do it. This is my whole strategy. I'm gonna push the message in this video so far into the industry that when the market does finally crash, so many less agents have to get out of the business because they understand what I'm saying and they get to continue selling property even through the bad market. And thus, the failure rate in the industry will be reduced. And by the way, I'm already reducing the failure rate in the real estate industry. I get messages every week from agents saying that they tried everything, they were about to quit the business until they found me. And I'll tell you right now, those messages are what's keeping me motivated. It keeps pushing me to keep going, make videos, do coaching sessions, write books, do speeches. It keeps pushing me to make podcasts and to do all these things that I'm doing to help the industry and to just spread my message further and further and further because it's helping so many people. And the cool thing is, is the ripple effect of all this. If I help one agent, it's not just that agent, it's that agent's family, okay? And then they may go out and do good things because of the success of the parent or the spouse, okay? There's such a ripple effect. They may, they may give to charity, and then that, that charity they gave to now can, can flourish. There's so much good that's happening through the Zero to Diamond free coaching program, and I'm just humbled and honored to be a part of it. When the market crashes and less agents have to get out of the business because of Zero to Diamond, it's gonna be an incredible feat and just an amazing thing to see. But on top of that, what I'm really looking forward to is when the market rebounds and all the agents that listen to me that, that acquired so much market share while the market was down, and then when the market rebounded, their businesses really explode, 
okay? Market share is the amount of real lifelong relationships that you have with property owners in your market. That's market share, and that's what you need to be working towards every day. Your goal should be to be creating more relationships with as many property owners as you can in the area, not for an ulterior motive of trying to buy, get them to buy or sell a property. Okay, the entire goal is just to see what you can do to help them short and long term and be there for them. Get their email address, put it in your database, send weekly emails every single week on the same day of the week forever. Stay connected and watch your business explode. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video. Send it out to everybody that you can because I don't want people watching the other videos and getting that mindset that there's a shortage of business when the market crashes because that's absolutely not the case. There's so much opportunity for everybody. There's enough for everybody. Don't be worried that if you share this video, they're gonna figure out the secret and that they're gonna take business away from you. Not the case. And if there's anything in the world I can do for you, please let me know. Click subscribe and hit the bell. We'll talk to you soon.